Yes, Bonnie Nish, thank you. <clears throat> and the next reader is Kevin Spence, and um, I don't think I got <clears throat> a sentence via email, and it says on the page here, he whirls about on the stage taking 50 cities into one tour. He has five chapbooks and fast fictions that were warm up for his two books, Ignite and Jabbering with Bing Bong, with our local press here in Vancouver. For his constant fever of readings across many cultures, and I think now he's into digital. <laughs> Kevin Spence. Thanks, Bernice. Um, <clears throat> Gabor Mate is a very interesting doctor who has worked in the Downton East side for, for quite a while. There's a really wonderful talk that he gives. It's called The Myth of Normal. I recommend it. Um, he talks about the spectrum that exists that we often deny. Um, my father suffered from schizophrenia his entire adult life. And um, in the 50s and 60s, I think there were a lot more kind of constraints in terms of what was normal. Um, my second book, Ignite, is largely a poetic recreation of his life, and this poem is for him. It's called A Song from Bedlam. Let my father be Christ the Lion On special occasions Freud once or twice on Jeopardy The King of New Westminster Of cigarettes of strong arm tattoos Let his phantom mind into shadow soap bubbles TV Everything a shimmering mirror to feed back a sleepless loop until days of stasis on the couch, suspicion slipping beneath cushion spheres of coins as listening devices. Let nerves like web stretch from his eyes and ears into the speaking places peopling the living room. Let a spider named Alex feed him answers on his lazy boy until the song is weighted with enough images to take on its own existence, muttering to itself about spinning out spaces from a flat surface to your eyes. Problems were game shows haywired with tangents. He was one unique contestant. <laughs> and uh, my other book is called Jabbering with Bing Bong, and uh, it's growing up um, with uh, faith and uh, thinking about all the different forms of faith that we have. This is called The Biology of Belief. To imagine God is to invite joy into our heart. There are no toilets in heaven, and therefore no assholes, intestines, desserts, no cake for a birthday, which is nevertheless celebrated every second on the second by the firmament of angels. It's happy birthday to you for eternity. And the stars are akin to the candles for a cake that is the universe, the inverse of which is felt inside, which is what Michael says in his speech, drowned out by God's yawning. Michael goes on and on. Everything takes longer in heaven because everything happens atop everything else. Nobody cares because they're sharing in a singular heartbeat and their wildest imaginations glow from the trinity of mouths and eyes and even the insects wassail with gobs open wide filled with the light of liquor. Yeah. <laughs>